is a recipe for disaster. Watching this back, after I literally broke my camera here and it cost me almost like $1,000. Love it. You guys are sitting on my hydrojet. Welcome to another vlog, guys. I just woke up. I actually woke up at 7.30, which I, as we know, I have been struggling recently. Well, I'm ready to work out. I'm wearing these biker shorts. I think these are Girlfriend Collective, obviously a Nike sports bra. I'm gonna throw my hair up and then go just do probably like 12, 3.30. I've honestly not been like super motivated to work out recently, but I actually have a Zoom call with Taylor today and she's gonna give me like an eight day workout plan and I'm gonna do that. So then I think it's gonna really be good for me. I have my hair up. This is like the new best thing to work out in because it doesn't mess your hair up as much. And they actually, I've talked about these clips in like the past three vlogs, but they're like really big and they actually have hair. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> well, the camera's still intact, guys. Not for long. No. Anyways, um, they're really big and they actually hold your hair. What is it? They hold them when you work out. Okay, if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. Today is Tuesday. My old couch is finally getting picked up. I have recordings, working, working at house stuff, need to film a bunch of deals, Taco Tuesdays tonight. I mean, it's gonna be really incredible. Can you with me to go work out? I'm only gonna do 12 through 30 this morning. I hear thunder. I honestly have um, absolutely no desire to work out. So if that's you today, this is your motivation. I'm very excited. I'm about to share with you legitimately probably the coolest thing in my house right now. I just got the Narwhal T10. It is the best robot mop on the market and it also has self-cleaning technology so you don't even have to clean the mop. It cleans it itself, which is crazy. It's the patented robot vacuum. It was recently profiled by Time Magazine as one of the best inventions of 2020. As far as convenience, there's like nothing that's gonna make my life better and also save me more time, which I'm all about. I feel like all I do is clean my floors. I swear I spend like half of my life cleaning my floors. So the robot can wash them off by itself. There's smart navigation with APP control. It's also quiet so you're not even gonna notice it while it's working. I actually cannot explain to you how clean my floors are. I don't think they've ever looked this clean. I don't even have either. Ever. I mean, like, this thing is literally my new best friend. It launches on June 1st. You guys can sign up on Norwell.com for exclusive deals and offers. A really good deal. We have a $100 coupon code for you guys. So if you guys use code Kenzie, you guys can get it for the best price, which is $8.99. Okay, hope you guys enjoy. I will have the link down below. Be sure to sign up on Norwell.com for deals and offers and also use code Kenzie for a $100 coupon. Hope you guys enjoy the vlog. Okay, good morning, guys. I just finished working out. I showered. Um, my camera is not working. I am hoping that there's just a battery problem or something. Within the next two hours, finally my couch is getting picked up, which is like really, really exciting, guys. So any new products that I'm loving that I'm very excited to share with you guys, um, which I was gonna film a favorites video. No, I don't have a camera. Today for the podcast, I am recording with Anna Lynn McCord. She's Naomi from 90210. So I'm really excited to talk with her. Uh, I actually need to call Dela. Dela is my trainer in LA. She's gonna give me a new plan and I'm gonna do a, like an eight day workout video, which I'm excited for. We have, I think, T minus nine days until I think, till my, the rest of my closet is delivered. Remember this was supposed to be up like a month ago? Me too, I haven't forgotten people, don't worry. I actually kind of prefer vlogging on my phone because I feel like they're more like, real-time vlogs like you're actually just like hanging out with us just changed we're actually gonna run down the street to go see if we can pick up my sister's vlog camera that she doesn't use because remember when she started a youtube channel and posted one video that i edited for her <laughs> yeah me too this blazer is nasty gal this tank top is princess polly this is like a me undies bralette technically these jean shorts i think they're princess polly they're like the only ones i have that i like and then i just have some jordans on and that is my look Aw, oh, Savvy, my fake roommate. <laughs> you look so cute. Oh, and sponsored by, sponsored by and Twin Flames. Do a little spin. That's Keaton's brand. And Nat. Oh, we love it. Love. Oh, it's just like annoying. I like. 
Okay, we have the new camera uh, that I'll be using for the foreseeable future until my camera decides to get its act together. It's just things like this that like really upset me. All right, I'm home. I'm taking this off. Thanks, Sav, his favorite aunt. It feels weird because this camera is so much more zoomed in. Like, what do I even do? Me and my hydro jug every day of the week. It actually like matches my outfit. Okay, I don't have any recordings or anything until noon. I have like two hours. This couch, very exciting is about to be gone. It's getting picked up in 20 minutes. Do you want um, a glass straw? Sure. Very fabulous. Only if you say it's fabulous. <laughs> well, I thought I was made a connection with the cat, but he ran away from me and I got That there. cat hates everyone. Don't worry, it's a neighborhood yeah. cat. Hates everyone. Yes, I think I'm, I'm here, but the address is certainly is yours. I, I don't the, see the... the have this beautiful iced coffee. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Wow. I have not had this connected the entire time of having these couches and Sab just did it. Oh, literally Bob the Builder. Oh, okay, I get it. I hate my life, I really do. Very rap, weird noise guys, get ready. Wait, do I move the sound? There we go. So. I'm posting an Instagram photo, I'm linking my outfits, I'm gonna go do some email. Guys, I'm in summer mood. Like, I might quit, give myself two weeks or something. Put my two weeks in. Put your two weeks in for yourself. Yeah. You know, like the Spider Man meme? With the, the window yeah. and the mirror? The, po uh, the, the, the pointy one, where there's like three of them like pointing at each other? Yeah. Yeah. That's kind of what's happening today. I'm just kidding. Love work, guys. Um, I think I just lost my absolute mind, so. Cannot say enough good things about these glass straws. They're fabulous. Fabulous. See, it's catching on. My new word. <laughs> Someone else said fabulous, and I was like, oh my god. Shaka Evans, is that you? You know, with her country club vibe, it might be. Do you see Tori just posted a picture of me and Dom? My, um... Shut up. My... Actually, self from birth to now is, <laughs> is screaming. Yep, it's us. Look at us there. Look at us go. What do you know, guys? I'm getting ready to record. I wish I had a matcha right now. That sounds good, actually. Start recording from the second it turns on. And our our guests have been like, so is um, is this what you want to talk about during the podcast? And we're like, no, no, you're already on the podcast. <laughs> We're like, wait, what? We're like, we're sorry, we don't really know how to do podcasts. But I am so excited to be talking with you today. We have so many things in common, like different interests. I originally DM'd you, I think, after I saw your video with Dr. Amen. I am literally, I think, his biggest fan. Like, I don't really fangirl in general, but when it comes to Dr. Amen, I am obsessed with him. Obsessed with him. He's, first of all, he's a wonderful human. So we just talked for the past, like, hour 15. This episode's pretty long. I love Anna. It was so good. Like, we talked about so many things, if you guys are not familiar. Um, basically, she's Naomi from 90210. I'm also going on their podcast, and it's her and, like, another 90210 star, and if you would have told my high school self that I would be, like, going on their show, I would have died. Really great, but she was she was diagnosed with DID, which is, like, formerly known as, like, personality, multi -pers multiple personality disorder. Anyways, so interesting really great we talked like we talk about everything very very exciting like she has the craziest story i think you guys really like this episode by the way if you guys ever want to watch our podcast episodes on youtube there's an i love you so much podcast youtube channel so the entire thing why am i talking so much with my hands i feel like i always do um the entire thing is on youtube so if you guys would prefer the video then it's up there. I'll be recording in the studio soon too, so it won't be Zoom anymore, but what a good day. Again, if you would've told my 16 year old self and the Juicy Couture thing, guys, I'm just saying, like life gets crazier, I swear by the day. Here we are. See, this shirt is just so long. Yeah, well we, <laughs> well I was just saying I'm a really supportive friend because look, full disclosure, and then Twin Flames. Yeah, it really is. It's really long. I th is yeah, that the XL? the XL? Oh. Okay, well, I have a large coming. That's the smallest one I have. Okay, you can take the large. I wear large and it's still big, so. No, like, stop. I one, Sav, it's actually insane to me that you didn't watch 90210 with me because we watched One Tree Hill and forfeited AP exams sophomore year of high school, but we didn't, I didn't study for AP World. 
how could we have? We were watching Montreal <laughs> 24 seven. Like everyone was studying. Period. No, it's so bad. Everyone was studying for exams and we and were, we were watching binge watching Montreal. 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 Yeah, and like, this is the thing. This is a very full circle time. This is my beginning of my YouTube channel age, right? Yeah. And then Sophia Bush's podcast ran ads, which is like so crazy. And That's then what's so even crazy. crazier is Anna Lynn and I are now BFFs. Um, and I love her coming on my show and I'm going on their show, which is crazy. Unzipped. If you guys like 90210, you will, they just launched with Dear Media. Actually, I didn't realize they were with Dear Media when oh, I they are. DM'd her. Yeah. I didn't realize that at first when we were talking, but, um, it's just a really wild time. It's a great day to be me. So grateful for you all. I'm just in a very sarcastic mood today, um, but I really am. She is, yeah. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm in a mood, but I really am. I just like, can't really like, be serious. I'm um, essentially wearing a dress. So. Yeah, but it's like with my face on it. I really sound like such a narcissist right now, being like, oh my god, so many good things happening. Making you go in public. I didn't force her to do that, by the way. Um, <laughs> we're gonna listen to the Marfa tapes. I'm excited. And then we're gonna play them on my TV later. They have a song called Waxahachie. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll play it for you. Wow, I can start singing like Miranda Lambert. Just kidding. You know, imagine the monster that I would be if I was musically inclined and could be a pop star. Oh god. It would be, oh my god, no. that's my dream. No, a country star. That's like legitimately my actual dream. To be a country star. Okay, so we're stopping in La La Land. Oh, I just like don't think that this is in focus ever. I'm gonna get my healthy matcha order. The girls from House of Preservation told me that's what I need to get. I just have so much to say. <laughs> it's honestly, those are the best days though when I am like that and I'm podcasting. Perfect. Okay, one yes. I'm good, thank you. Wow. You guys have a good day. Perfect, thank you. This is the solar power. It's like the healthier one. One time I got a tattoo there randomly. That was fun. Because we were here and I said, oh my god, we should get tattoos. And then I have a tattoo there. It's not bad. I just didn't think you were gonna like this one as much, but that's what you wanted, so. Well, it's too late now. This is more of like a lemonade, like refresher yeah. type drink than it is like a sugary matcha drink. It's really good in my opinion, but I don't think that this is just, if you don't like matcha, like definitely don't get this drink. This mask, I used to love them when it was cold out and now I hate them. This one. It's very thick, It's yeah. like thick, but it was so good in the winter. Oh my God, guys, I'm gonna keep mask around next winter when I'm cold. That was the best thing. That was, like it was. That was so yeah. nice, yeah. In and out very quickly, a rainy day at Trader Joe's. And we're done. Making some soy chorizo tacos tonight, guys. You need to get ready for the song I'm about to play you. I'm gonna remember Darn Bakers and I would play the song in my car. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't remember anything. I call the neighbors, call the cops. is spotless it feels incredible um tonight is the start of taco tuesday it's just me sav and taryn i was looking at old vlog footage actually today to like i was going i got lazy but i was gonna insert like old vlog footage yeah, when i said like christmas party? yeah no and it's a christmas party of us three and like three of our other friends from 2014. Oh like that's how old we are isn't that crazy? It's not that old. Like there's like photos and there's photos of like us three at like 14. I'm turning 24 this year. Nah. I hate getting old, um, but. I just turned 23, so. You know, congrats. Seriously, Thanks. you should tell that at a party sometime. Some of us are aging over here, okay? Sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> it is, it's very much so, thank you very much. <laughs> it is. Yeah, it's not, not too, well, I'm gonna wait a second. I just have our plates ready. I don't know, should I go that? No, I don't want to do it just yet. Yeah, yeah. Um, anyways, we're gonna have Taco Tuesday tonight. I'll see you guys tomorrow, bye. Hey guys, it's me, I'm back. Okay, so I was just telling Sav, because really Tennis Club was started by me and Taryn. You're welcome to come in as a later founding member, but truth be told, it was me and Taryn. But I will let you know, people don't need to know. We would love for you to, what I'm asking is, would you like to be a later founding member? Why do you have to say later? Oh, I did it. Yes, you, wait, wait. Okay, so here's the thing. We have a lot to talk about in this meeting tonight because, okay. first off, how do I even get the, I don't want, well, I'm we need to find a tennis court. Yeah. Um, 
that's like last on my list. Okay, so <laughs> okay, the most I have my important outfits, part. And I have another tennis racket, and it's gonna be great. Hi. Um, no, but like, how do we go about this as far as like communication? It's not like a big group text. Oh my god. Okay. It's the best way to do it. Just I'm gonna leave that to you. You know what? You're no. head of communications. No. You're head of communications. No. Mrs. Founding member, you. You are head of communications. I'm so yeah, you are. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Head of communications. How does that feel? I feel like that has a nice ring to it. I do. Am I getting paid? No. Nothing. That's fine. You're, you're still in? <laughs> I'm still in. Okay, cool. <laughs> People work for anything these days. Um, okay, that sounds good. Yeah. I mean, is it? it's literally going to be group chat, like. Yeah. Because it's a Saturday, so it's literally it's whoever can come. This group for all invited whoever after. Anyone can be at it in the computer news. If we start it and everyone leaves, <laughs> I hope that's not No, I'll cry. I will funny as cry. I will literally cry. No, I think it's gonna be like fine. Of everything I'm most excited for this summer, like tennis club is definitely up there. Really? Yeah. And I'm really excited to get my new car because I thought about it because my tennis racket's already like bothering me in my house and I can just put it in the trunk. Thought about that today. Yeah. It's a little thing. Yeah, me too, if anyone ever calls you back, so closet clean out just go through everything today because it's so crammed I'll, like my closet gets here it'll be set up in the next two weeks but like still I feel like I should go through stuff okay guys I'm on my second oh I'm on my second coffee of the day here we are I'm gonna go do a closet clean out. I'm going to set a timer for an hour and go through everything, put things in bags to give to friends. I really should just kind of be doing this periodically, but this is gonna be a big closet clean out. I just have way too many clothes. Like my closet has never been this cluttered. Oh, my normal. It's just going back to the robot. Technically that is the robot. And now it's cleaning. It's literally cleaning itself. I work so hard around here. <laughs> Sav and I actually haven't left each other's side since Saturday, Saturday morning. It's Wednesday. So, uh. I'm today. Unfortunately. Oh my gosh. Hey. What's up, girl? Closet clean out time. Fitz is in this phase where he just goes to his room, which is my room all the time. He doesn't even want to hang out with us and he just sits on the, on the bed as if it's his bed since I got rid of. The old couch. And this is what he does. Look at this stuff. Yeah. I mean, you are the best looking, handsome, most handsome man in the world. Yes, true. Okay, I'm going to need my bed though, dude. Okay, guys, get ready for a massive closet clean out little montage. I have my coffee. I have my company. Um, I'm about to introduce Sav to the BFS podcast. Um, it's really something. Oh, my God. Just it's just insane. Hi, you are so cute and pretty. probably 60% of my closet which honestly was a massive clean out I feel better but I just like couldn't possibly get to the top today like I have things to do and it was just so much and also I don't have space to move my stuff yet anyways I just changed I'm actually gonna go shoot a photo for Victoria's Secret pink it's so cute so cozy I accidentally got something on it of course but whatever I'm wearing this lip gloss from rare beauty I love this gloss I put it on randomly I found it it is so good. It's very like hydrating, but lightweight, but also like actually gives you color if you need a good like summer lip gloss. This is it. Also, I keep losing my voice. Okay. I've been home. I'm working. I'm about to take another call. 
Guys, I cannot express to you enough how obsessed I am with this dough cookie dough. As you can see, it's vegan, gluten, pea protein. These are all the ingredients. Essentially, it's like a healthy, in quotes, I think it actually is healthy. I mean, to me it is, who cares? Cookie dough, it's really good. Also, hi Emily, I miss you. Thank you, I will just like eat it out of the jar. You can actually bake the cookies, which I don't care about, I just want the cookie dough. Hello. Hello. Good, how are you? We are officially moved into the new studio spaces upstairs. That is so fun, I'm so excited. Oh, hi guys, it's me. I'm by myself for the first time in like days actually. Just got out of my quarterly meeting for the podcast, which I'm actually really excited about. I think we're gonna add a new outro type thing to where I can have like listeners call in and I can answer a question at the end. It might be more geared towards the episode or it could be random, but basically like you guys can just call in, it'll record it and then it'll be in the show, which is gonna be really cool. So I'm excited for that. So little update on um, me just talking, basically trashing my 20s and just saying that they're awful. They're really not, like I'm also having the time of my life. I read this book called The Defining Decade and it's so, so, so good. I didn't want to read it because I thought it was going to like put a lot of pressure on me in my 20s and so I just like didn't read it for a second and then I read it and it honestly really helped and it made me feel a lot better, um, especially on the topic of just uncertainty and how like your 20s are very confusing, they're very uncertain, you don't know what's happening. You have to try out a lot of different things to figure it out. I feel like I don't know, I change so much day by day. Like, I'm also someone who like changes my mind about things. And for some reason, I'll like randomly be really hard on myself or almost like not give myself the freedom to change my mind about things. And I think that now I'm really allowing myself to do that. I'm feeling better. And I just don't want to put so much pressure on myself or hold myself to something that I said or wanted six months ago because that isn't really what I want now. Even two months ago, literally two months ago. My purpose of recording this clip is the same. We are all hard on ourselves. We all second guess ourselves. We're all randomly insecure about something. We all second guess ourselves. And especially at this age, I feel like it's really easy to be uncertain or feel confused about life or whatever. And I am just really focusing on being present because I feel like that will save so many of my issues. But also on not being so hard on myself and allowing myself the freedom and the growth to change my mind or to change something about my life or to be someone else or whatever. Now is the time to do it. Not that there's ever really a bad time, but I think like I'm just trying to get better about it now. And I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update because I know I talked a lot on the podcast about um, feeling confused in your 20s. Also, I would definitely recommend reading The Defining Decade, but I am definitely feeling a lot better. I'm like having the time of my life with my friends and like especially just like my girlfriends. We're having such a good time and, I, and I'm just like happy. Even with being so uncertain and confused and not really like loving that feeling, I'm still very happy. I think life is more oftentimes both and than like either or, if that makes sense. That is it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. I know this week has kind of been all over the place. I know this has probably been a little bit all over the place, but I still hope you guys enjoyed the video. Comment below any video requests you guys have. I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. First thing we do, we, we interpret labs using a thinner reference range. So anybody that's listening right now will know, hey, when I get my, my lab, I'm being compared to this reference range in my lab. Well, we get that reference range from a statistical bell curve average of people who go to lab.